I love getting people excited. They say that that's what I do best. Someone quoted me as saying, I get you excited to do the hard stuff. So today, we're going to roll up our sleeves. We're going to talk. There's not a lot of us in here. You just interrupt me. We'll make this very informal. And we're going to talk about some of the hard stuff that's going on right now. So I want to, uh, I want to start where we're going. With, I just heard Malcolm Gladwell speak. Has anyone ever heard of Malcolm Gladwell? He's an author. His hair looks good there. Sometimes it's, woo his hair's way out there. And whatever group I speak to, I share this because I think that this is something we all need to hear. He said, here's what's going to kill a business or a career right now. Three things. Number one is a poverty mindset. A poverty mindset means, oh, no one will buy this. No one has any money. There's no more business out there. And yesterday, we just heard, the, he said, how much do these banks have, these little banks? I, I got excited. I thought he said something like 600 quadrillion. I don't know, it was a number I couldn't fathom. But a poverty mindset, it's everywhere you go. Your dentist, the, the, uh, the hygienist is not offering you something because she's sure you can't afford it. This, everyone is talking about this. You have the news on. Everyone's talking about cutting out coupons. It's like we've gone totally into a poverty mindset with money and with ideas. Poverty mindset spreads throughout. It's not just about money. It's about your thinking. We can't do this now. This isn't the right time. It's that fear that we don't have enough. The second thing that's going to kill a business or a career are stupid assumptions. Stupid assumptions, we assume, oh, that client never bought from me, he's never going to buy. Think about it. Oh, what, you know, they're way too big for us. Well, you know what, that guy that's way too big for you, you might be perfect for him right now. No, we never do this. And we use the words never, can't, it never will happen. And we use stupid assumptions in relationships, in forecasts, in our plans. And the third thing that he said is going to kill a business or an individual is a bad attitude. I think the bad attitude, it goes across the board. So even when we're here right now, like thinking, oh man, this is never going to work. I can't do this. It won't happen. We have to really kind of begin to identify our negativity and decide if that's going to get us through right now. Is that what's what we need? Or how can we change our attitude? How can we look at things right now in a more positive way? Because studies show that when you smile, we are attracted to that smile. We are attracted to that glint in your eye. We are attracted to your energy, and it's contagious. So we, in this room, have to let go of our poverty mindset. We have to stop making stupid assumptions. And we have to leave this conference. We have to, leave, we have to go out tonight and party with a good attitude. Because when you have a good attitude, it's amazing how many more good ideas come to you. When you have a good attitude, it's amazing how many people want to do business with you. Just because of your attitude, because we need it right now. Transparent means that we want you to be the real deal. We want you to be the same person all the time. We want you to speak the same language. We want you to be someone that we can trust. We want you to be visible. We want you to come out from behind the desk and walk around and talk to us. Be flexible and know when to change your strategy. And the last thing we need from you is to be able to celebrate the little accomplishments. So someone said, what does that mean? And that means if your phone's ringing a little bit now, be happy. Our phone's ringing. Let's go get a beer. Let's go do You've got to look at the little things that are going on right now and be happy. You've got to do this because people have to begin to see the progress. Man, our phone didn't ring at all last week. We got one call this week. Woohoo! Yay! Begin to notice the little things and celebrate these little milestones right now because we've got to start over. This is how you motivate people. You're a leader. You look like a leader. You talk like a leader. You care about people. You have a vision. You share a vision with people. You have a core belief how you started that company. And you go back, really, to basics, which is what the name of this conference is. If you do that, guess what? We want to work for you. So what you have to do is fall in love with your company again. Fall in love with your business again. No matter how hard it is right now, why are you there? Fall in love with your business again and share it.